An example of a study where we've uh, demonstrated the financial and economic benefits of a, of a program was an evaluation of a cardiovascular polypill. We did a trial, we showed it was effective, and then we did a cost effectiveness analysis of it. And what we showed was that it not only had short-term cost savings to the health system in terms of being able to deliver a cheaper um, uh, medication each time, but also by enabling people to stay on treatment for uh, longer periods of time, we were able to reduce cardiovascular risk and therefore potentially um, cardiovascular events and long-term hospitalizations. Oh, we know uh, we can make an impact uh, through these early uh, prevention strategies through solid data. And um, one of the challenges uh, in the healthcare setting is to, uh, is to be able to track um, people's healthcare use over a period of time. And in Australia, we're getting better at that. We're um, getting um, more used to uh, coll routinely collecting data on uh, people's healthcare utilisation and th that enables people like myself to be able to evaluate the impact of programs, not only in terms of the immediate health outcome, but uh, the long-term um, costs to the health system. One of the challenges when we're evaluating prevention strategies is that often the costs of these um, programs are incurred up front and the uh, benefits are incurred many years into the future. And that poses real challenges for uh, funders of, of healthcare programs because um, they'll bear the cost but not necessarily see the, the benefits of their investment. One of the characteristics of, of um, healthcare programs is that they often have wider benefits than just the health outcome that we're interested in. So they have wider impacts on families in terms of productivity, keeping people in, in the workplace longer, um, being able to uh, enable uh, family members to, to raise their children and those sorts of things. And these are often intangible as far as um, um, the economic value is concerned. And so the challenge for us as researchers is to broaden the scope of our evaluations to capture these sorts of things and ultimately um, convince funders to invest in programs on the basis of this sort of evidence. When we're looking at the economic um, arguments for programs such as this, it's not just about savings. I think we need to recognise that often um, uh, when we invest in healthcare programs, we need to, the, the, the objective is to achieve value for money.